Hello my beauties! So I am back with a DIY. I had seen these beautiful succulent garden centerpieces on Pinterest and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous. Where do I get one? And when I looked them up, they had the most ridiculous prices I've ever seen. Sure, there were some that were more affordable, but the ones that I seemed to be attracted to were all of the expensive ones. Like, for example, like, what are these prices? What? I, and these are faux succulents, mind you, okay? They're not even real. And the one from, I think it was Wayfair? Oh my, $700? <sighs> so I thought I could recreate this one in particular because I had the perfect container for this. I actually ended up creating three different succulent gardens. Um, two of them were the same, but I will show you those towards the end of the video. This one in the wooden container actually cost me probably less than $25 for sure. So um, far more affordable than these expensive ones. And it was so fun to make, so easy to make. I got all of the items from Amazon, except for the container itself, which I got from Home Goods. I also got the other two containers from Home Goods as well. All you will need for this project is a beautiful container, such as this wooden one I have here, some moss, faux succulents, and some faux moss covered stones. I will try to remember to put these links for each of the items in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. I am just starting off by unwrapping each individual succulent. I actually ended up putting in a second order for these succulents so that I had enough for the other two succulent gardens that I created, but as far as the moss and the moss covered stones go, they were more than enough for making three succulent gardens. Here I'm just taking out the moss. Be very careful with this because it does get everywhere. So um, just a warning, but it's easy enough to clean up. I originally thought I would need all of it, but this is really tightly packed in there. And I was also quite worried about the color because it looked very like an artificial green color, but in the end it all worked out because I really liked how the different green colors all meshed well together and you could kind of tell the difference between the moss and the rocks and the succulents so it just worked out. I ended up only using about a third of the moss for this particular container. And you have to really get in there and start breaking up the moss as best as possible so that it looks much more natural. Um, they can tend to clump together so just make sure you break up all those clumps and get it looking nice and separated. Next, it's time to add the moss stones, and you really can't mess this part up. Just try your best to balance out the stones. So if I put a huge rock on one end, I put three little ones on the other one, and I just try to balance out the look of it as best as possible. But even still, even if you were to just scatter it around, it still ends up looking beautiful. Finally, it's time to add the succulents, and just as before, just try your best to balance it out. So if I add a greenish purplish one on one end, then I add one on the other end, and I just try to balance it out as usual, as best as possible, just so that it's more pleasing to the eye. This project was so fun to do and really relaxing. I felt very zen just placing the plants here and there and my house does not have any greenery inside so this felt amazing to have in the living room it just brought some life to the living room because my house in general is just very gray like our wood floors are gray our furniture is gray so this is really nice to bring some warmth and nature inside without having to deal with bugs so um if you're looking to bring in some greenery, I would suggest starting off with a little succulent garden. I had just one succulent left over, which was this bright yellow one, and I just thought that was really random. So I left that one out, but I ended up using it in my other succulent gardens, as you will see. But this is the final result, and I love it. I absolutely love it. 
Um, I showed my sister, she loves it. My husband, of course, he was like, oh my gosh, I love it. We need to make two more. And so I did. <laughs> he actually asked if I could make some for his office. So I may be making even more or I may just transfer these to his office because he really liked how calming they felt. And I remember seeing either on Instagram or YouTube, um, someone saying that they had created one and it reminded them of Avatar. And I was like, that's so true. It does remind me of Pandora, like the landscape of Pandora with the dusty mauves and purples and green. And I just, wow, I really, really liked how it turned out. These are the other two succulent gardens that I made. The two bowls are identical and I actually got them from Home Goods. And I liked that they were a white stained wood. So it kind of brought in the white from the wood container, the original wood container that I had. And also because I don't have any natural wood in my house, like other than gray wood. <laughs> so this kind of tied it in together and I felt like it, it just, it looked very clean and simple and it made the green really pop. Alrighty, you guys, so that was it for this really easy DIY succulent garden project. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do decide to recreate this, please tag me in your posts so that I can like and share. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!